Hi there, I'm Robin. Now, under normal operating conditions, a turbo can last as long as the lifetime of the engine. When a failure does occur, before you replace the turbo, it's important to figure out what the root cause of the problem is, because a lot of times the issue isn't with the turbo, but with a related system that's caused the premature turbo breakdown. So let's take a look at a few of the things that can cause a turbo to die. Foreign objects defect can also be a consequential failure of another problem called turbo overspeeding. Now in some cases the turbo spins much faster than it's designed to, and this leads to the compressor wheel bursting. Remember, we're talking about speeds exceeding 250,000 RPMs, where aluminum starts to creep like Play-Doh. The wheel blades start breaking off, and hitting splinters intensify the mechanical destruction of the turbo. So this is a turbo after the failure. And you can see here, it's completely destroyed inside, including the shaft that broke as the final stage. Now you can easily see here the compressor wheel after creeping and losing blades. It's even clearer when separated. The wheel is torn and it bears signs of several hits. And the blades are torn off. You can also recognize the overspeeding failure when seeing an orange peel pattern on the back here. This is due to the material creeping. The overspeeding failure may have several root causes. Let me highlight the major ones. Leaks in the air supply or air charge system are typically accompanied by some whistling noises. Now, Because of the leak, the turbo cannot generate the required boost pressure and it starts spinning above its limits. Another reason is the turbo control failure. Depending on application, this may be a wastegate or variable turbo mechanism stuck. Equally, MAP or MAF sensor failures and car tuning or manual changes of the factory turbo settings may provoke the shaft and wheels to rotate too fast. I'm Robin. Thanks for letting me show you what's under the hood. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about overpressure in the turbo. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And if there's something specific that you want me to do a video on in the future, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.